Hi, this is Scary Star Being with Scary's Wide World of Mystery. I'm going to be doing a reading for the sign of Libra for this upcoming full moon that's happening on the 15th in the sign of Aquarius. Um, this will be trying your sign, Libra. Um, so hopefully it's a really beautiful experience for you guys. All right. I believe this is going to be in your fifth house of romance. So hopefully you have a very romantic time. <clears throat> I'm going to start shuffling now. It's amazing how deafening the chaos of the world is. You should have seen the last reading, it was perfect. It was so quiet. There was no cars driving around. All you could hear was just nature. <laughs> I don't know why I'm complaining about this. I'm so sorry. It just feels like, I think I really just got into your energy, Libra. Like. You guys are ruled by Venus, so anything that kind of like rubs you the wrong way, even if it's really subtle, kind of feels like, ew. You know what I mean? I don't know. Ew, right? <laughs> I just got that ew, ick factor of hearing the, tra the morning traffic, you know? I'm just like, oh man, there's people on this planet. No, just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I have a stellium in Libra, so it's really easy for me to get into your guys' energy. In fact, one might say I know you guys like the back of my hand. Okay, I'm really feeling it now. Hmm. Very interesting. Ooh, okay. This is the second reading that the High Priestess has popped up in for the day. All right. Um, but last time she was reversed. This time she's in the upright, so that's good. Three, two, one, guys. I just saw that a couple seconds ago. Okay, Libra, we have Temperance. All right card of Sagittarius, but yeah, balance is an alchemy, guys. That's what I'm hearing. Balance is an alchemy. All right. So, and you guys are really good at this. Okay. You guys are the sign of eye balance, right? So yeah, you really need to start coming into balance right now because it's going to change your life. So if you've been really sad, depressed, and lonely lately, there's something that you need to alter within your life. Like maybe, maybe, just maybe, maybe you have a vitamin B deficiency that you are unaware of, or a vitamin D deficiency which you're not aware of, all right? Could be something as simple as that. And you'll know, I mean, I'm getting this strongly for a few of you at least that um, some of you really need to check your vitamin D levels. All right. Because once you do, um, vitamin D is one of those. Uh, we need vitamin D. It'll change your body in amazing ways because we need uh, to be able to process calcium with our vitamin D, right? So it keeps our bones strong. Um, it also helps us 
process um, lipids in our body. So it helps us to burn calories and lose weight more easily because it supports our metabolism. Um, that's why going out in the sun, sun is very important. Exercise is important because it helps to get all of those alchemical process, processes expedited, right? We need exercise. Otherwise, you know, our bowels are sluggish. We're holding in too much shit that we need to be letting out, all right? We're not sweating, which, you know, is another way of excreting toxins. Um, we just need, we really need to make sure that we take care of ourselves. Okay, um, I think sometimes, Libra, you like to be in a state of decadence and pleasure so often that you forget that, you know, too much of it is hedonism, right? <laughs> Let's just be honest here. <laughs> uh, you guys can't be the movers and the shakers of the Zodiac without moving and shaking, all right? Um, and I don't know why it's going down this path right now, but it just feels like sometimes the things we do in the name of self-care are counterproductive to our self-care, Libra. Like, eating a pint of ice cream after a breakup is not exactly conducive to self-care. I mean, doing it once, sure, okay? But doing it over and over and over again is not self-care, right? Um, that's basically a sugar addiction. Um, because we, we depend upon sugar to lift up our, our mood and our spirits. But what sugar really does to us is it robs our bones of calcium because it takes out the calcium in our bones in order to process the sugar. Um, and don't ask me why that is. I just, I've experienced it in my own body. I've read it somewhere. <laughs> All right. I'm not an expert, but I might know something. So Google it. Um, <laughs> check, fact check me, please. Like fact check fact check my ass, but yeah, I want you to, please, please try to prove me wrong. Anyway, um, king of wands. All right. This is a fire sign individual. The fire signs are Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. All right. And I'm getting that maybe some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius right now. And that's because there's the card of Sagittarius, and then there's the King of Wands. This is starting to get interesting. Hmm. Just kidding. <laughs> I mean, if you're not dealing with a Sagittarius, don't try to make it fit. Don't think, oh, that one guy from the office is a Sagittarius, and I say hi to him on the elevator every day, so don't, like, contort it. Please don't. Um, if this is not your story, it's not your story. All right? Take Take what makes sense for you. Take your messages. Leave the rest. All right? Because this is a general reading, and it, it won't all make sense for just you, because I'm reading for a ton of people, and not everybody lives the same lifestyle or believes the same things, right? Okay. Three of Cups. Okay, um, this is very interesting. I'm gonna, first I had these two, now we're gonna look at these two, okay? Um, shoot. <laughs> Should I just say it? <laughs> shoot, okay, um, I'm getting I'm getting a weird message that might only be for one or two people, okay? I'm getting that this to tell you that this king of wands is married and he has children, okay? And that you might be in a third party situation ship with this person because they're already married. All right? 
And if that's not your case, um, I'm also getting another story for another maybe small group or li one Libra, maybe. Um, this is about your... This feels like your partner is too engaged with people at work rather than caring about what goes on at home, right? Um, like, look at this, look at this person. It looks like they're just focused on something in the distance. And this guy is not even paying any mind to these children around him. Alright? So maybe some people out there might have a partner that is a bit of a player. Um, sorry, playboy. Um prefers play to res the responsibilities of home, um, even with colleagues. I don't know. Uh, you know, everybody's situation's going to be unique. But yeah, I can't just read this. I can't just read this as, I can read this as an archetype, okay? As being the king of wands, this is the this is a person who is an entrepreneur and he runs his own business, okay? This person is very fiery. Wands are fire. Um, and we're in Leo season right now, so this could even just pertain to the season. If you're not dealing with any fire signs, then it's the season, all right? It's Leo season, but... Regardless of what I was seeing was before is that there's these kids that would like to have attention from this this father figure Okay, but it's You know, it's just not It looks like he's he's there. He's present, but he's kind of checked out mentally anyway um, But yeah, uh I just don't get I just don't get the best of feelings in regards to this card, not like I usually do, okay? Like usually this is a card of like celebration, like um maybe you guys landed a big job at work, okay? Or, you know, you know, I don't know, or it's just about partying in general, but what I'm really getting is that in your relationship to this person, whoever they may be, um, it just seems like their attention isn't where it should be. Does that make sense? It seems like something has come in between you and their relationship with you, okay? And that can be friends, that can be, you know, that can be their family, that can be a multitude of people that could be interfering in your relationship. Alright? Um... And I gotta tell you, that doesn't, that doesn't feel good on any level. At least not to me. Um, it feels yucky. And I hate giving yucky readings, guys. <laughs> I really do. Like, this sucks. <laughs> it really sucks. Um, I mean, I really hope whoever you're paired with right now isn't a player. Okay, that's worst case scenario for a lot of you, I'm feeling. But, um... It's even worse if he's neglectful, okay? It's even worse. It's a bigger blow to your self-esteem if he's neglectful, so. And I'm also being told that this could be a Scorpio man as well because Scorpio is ruled by Mars, which is a very fiery planet. But 
other than that, yeah, that's what I'm getting from this. There needs to be a balance to this dynamic. There needs to be a balance in this relationship. If he's out partying with friends too often, he needs to balance his time and make you a priority as well, okay? And if he loves you, he will. Or she will, you know? I don't know who these roles really pertain to. This could, I could be talking to somebody that's just dealing with a Libra, right? At the very end, okay, of this, I think we do get this situation in check. We get it in balance, okay? We figure it out. We say, okay, Susan at the office can see you for coffee every two weeks, okay? Because I'm going to need you at least every other weekend, right? Okay. Just something has to change about the situation. That's what I'm really seeing. Because that, if I move this away, this feels positive, okay? This is coming into your, coming into your own power, all right? Trusting your own instincts, um, feeling good about yourself. If your self-esteem is, is lowered for any reason, Libra, it will affect your ability to tap in to, to source, all right? To God. You will have a harder time connecting to God because you have to love yourself because that's the vibration that God lives at. God lives in the vibration of love. Um, he doesn't live in the vibration of fear. That's why I don't really understand why people say fear God. God doesn't exist in fear, all right? To fear God would be to separate yourself from God. And I I can't now that I now that I know definitively that God exists. I cannot separate myself from God. I love God. All right? And you have to love yourself in order to love God. That's just the way it goes. So if you're not taking care of yourself and you're not sticking up for what makes you feel better and uh, sticking to it, like making sure there's a punishment if your boundaries of respect are not honored, okay? That's part of self-love too. But yeah, you need to come back to your inner knowing. You need to start listening to your soul. It's talking to you. It's telling you how, how you can fix this situation. You just have to listen to it. All right. And don't distract yourself with other things because that's no way to live either. And I think you guys deserve all the happiness that you can find in the universe. So please, please listen to your soul. All right, Libra. I'm sorry about the mini lecture. I love you guys so much. Um, I will talk to you later. Bye.